be showing you that uh, how basically you can uh, convert the JSON placeholder API response into a table and insert it inside the PDF document using JSPDF library, JSPDF auto table plugin. So this is the demo of the application. You will see there is a button out there. If I click this button, it will act actually make a HTTP request to the JSON placeholder API and then it will fetch the data and automatically it will insert the data inside this table like structure. You will see this PDF file is created and it contains three pages. And in all the three pages, we have got the table response here. And this table contains three columns, ID, name, and country. And all this response that you are getting is getting from the JSON placeholder API. So it's a fake REST API for developers. So if you just Google it, you will find out about this API. And we are simply making a GET request to this endpoint. And uh, inside our angular 14 application so i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website guys webninjadeveloper.com so you can go to the description of this blog post to get all the source codes to a step by step blog post is given you can see that so you can copy paste all the source code so now let's get started by building this application so first of all i will delete all the source code and start from scratch so the very first thing guys we need to do here you need to install three dependencies which are necessary for this uh, tutorial. Basically, you need to install the JS PDF uh, auto table library. Let me show you. First of all, you need to install the JS PDF library, and then you need to install the JS PDF auto table. It's a plugin for inserting the table, and also you need to install RxJS. So it is uh, mandatory that you install this. So just install these three dependencies and now I will show you how to do this process. So go to first of all app.module.ts file guys. So here you need to import HTTP client module from this angular common HTTP. So include it inside your import array, something like this. And then you need to go to your app.component.html file. And here we will have a simple heading which will say that uh, download PDF. So close the heading. And basically you can see on the right hand side we have got this heading. And we will have a simple button out there which will simply say that fetch data and uh, we will be initializing a on click listener to it. So whenever we click this button we will execute a function which is download PDF. Now we need to go to app.component.ts file guys. So here you just need to import all the dependencies such as JS PDF, JS PDF auto table. So import these lines that I have written here and also make a data.ts file in the root directory. So here basically it contains the data types. You will see basically it's a constructor which has three properties. First is the user ID then we have the actual ID of the user and the third one is the title. Uh, both these three elements are of type string. So you just need to make this data file and we are importing this data file from this like this. And then we just need to make this interface JSPDF plug with plugin. And now inside this coding part, we will simply give it a title here. And after this guys, we will have a simple list data, which will be actually be empty. So here we will be storing all the results, which will be coming from the API. And then we will have the columns. So these are three columns, as I already told you, ID, this is name and this is country. So our rows variable will be empty for now because we will be fetching all the rows from the API. So here we will be simply be having a constructor here guys. This will be of type uh, HTTP client. So HTTP client like this. So this will be a empty constructor. And here we will be on lifecycle method on ng on in it. So whenever your component loads for the very first time, basically what we will do, we will execute a simple HTTP request. So here we will initialize this get data method whenever you press the button basically. So you can see we have binded this get sorry this needs to be download PDF so download PDF so right here we will simply make a simple get request guys so 
so yeah so sorry this needs to be get pdf sorry get data so when we load the page we will execute this function so this will simply return this dot http and basically we will make a simple get request to this endpoint which is https json placeholder typo code slash users so basically sorry this needs to be post not user so simply we will make this get request and basically inside this ng on in it we will be calling this method that we have defined so this dot get data and we will simply subscribe to this method and here we will be getting our result so here we will be simply we list data will be equal to result as data and after this we will simply run a simple for loop guys so this will be a simple for loop so you can see we are running it to the length of this data element and we are pushing the user id id and the title property so like this so now if any sort of uh, error take place we can even log a simple a message that uh, error take place if any sort of error take place like this so this is all here and basically now if you see uh, automatically whenever you load the page you will get this data here and after this we just need to invoke this function which is download pdf we need to make this function which will automatically execute whenever we press the button so here we will make use of the js pdf library guys and basically this uh, portrait paper type pixel and a4 size and this needs to be imported as js pdf plugin like this and then we will be using this method guys which is auto table and uh, here we will be inserting the columns and the rows and lastly we just need to save this this dot rows so why it is not let me copy this line here so you will see it is saying change spelling to auto table let me just copy this whole so now you can see if you if i press this button here fetch data we see download pdf is not defined okay i think this button needs to be of type button here you will see click this button you will see your pdf file will be downloaded and you will get this response here so in this way guys you can get a http response from the api and you can insert tables using js pdf auto table library inside angular 14 all the source code will be given in the description of this video and i will be seeing you in the next video